Hi everyone on TikTok. Thanks for joining me for coffee this morning. So I am winding up the abstract forms. So I have a couple that I'm playing around with and I'm going to show you what they are. They're a little bit smaller because I'm trying to fill in some of the spaces. And then I think I'm going to put heart forms throughout this piece. So uh, we'll see what that looks like. But I'm going to put the screen down so you can follow me. And this is the area that I want to fill. And I'm staying, this is the, the hem, so that comes about an inch, inch and a half. So I'm going to go just above that and just over here. So um, now I'm going to tell you what I gravitated towards first was this print of a flower. And I just kind of, first I had put this down. I had put this down, this form. I am thinking about this form and I'm um, not thinking about it too much, but uh, I want to fit this in the piece somewhere. So, that. And then this. Now, I notice too, and you'll notice this as you're working with your forms, when you turn a piece of fabric just a little bit, it completely impacts the emotion evoked from that piece. And so look, if I turn this this way, it, it almost looks like the head is, you know, looking down, walking, looking down. You know, if I bring it up over this way, and even if I move the arm, you have a, a completely different feeling going on. So I'm playing around with that one, and I kind of like it. I, I like these pieces to have some movement. So, um, and then look, even if I took this and put it up here, um, I don't know if I necessarily like that or if that does anything for it. To me, it doesn't do anything for it. But look, I could put it here. I could put it there. But because I go by feeling, I'm really liking it like this. I like the humble effect of it looking down a little bit and walking. So that's, that's the one I like the best. Let me know what you like the best. Now, there's another form. I'm going to put these to the side because I'm just testing out another one. And these are different fabrics I just grabbed. So I don't know. We'll see. And when I cut these, when I cut the fabrics, because I, I want to go for abstract, I'm not even looking at them sometimes. I mean, I'm looking for safety, but not for specific form. Now the, this this form up here is facing this way. It's walking that way. So this this one and the one on above it is walking the other way. So it doesn't matter which way it's going to be walking or moving. These don't pop a lot, but look, they're both they are both um pastel-y or light. This isn't extremely light, but it's light enough. This is nice fabric because I can use either side. It doesn't matter which side I'm using. So if, if I'm, I'm putting this this way, and this is the, the head, let's say, that the B could could act as an eye. Um, and you turn these around because you think you can envision them, but turn them different ways because 
that provokes your own imagination and creates something you may not be really thinking about. I kind of like that and I kind of don't. This I feel is too big. You see, I didn't give any thought really in cutting that. I just cut it because I want something a little smaller that I can work with. So I'm going to take that off. That's different. That's different. And you know, the idea is diversity, right? Things are very different. Oh, here come the jets. Sorry about that. how you feel about them or if you're going for a cognitive uh, intellectual geo design you know whatever you're doing just keep moving them around change them around that and without any really real thought there because that's where you the abstract is going to pop if you think too much about it you're not going to get you you won't be you won't recognize it when you do get a form that is um, abstract and kind of popping out at you. So um, now I hope that that helps. And um, so I'm going to be sewing throughout the day and trying to finish this up. And I'll come back around to you. Uh, I guess when I'm putting the backing on, you'll see the backing and um, I'll sh share with you what I'm using for the backing. So we'll see you in the next one.